I got to ask, how much fun is it being able to coach this team? Because it really felt like Tyra Murphy and really a lot of the team got it rolling today. I tell you what, uh, it's, if we've had some trying times this year. Um, but we're young. And, we're, you know, it's generally toward the end of the season when we start really gelling and starting to come together. Her voice is halfway gone, but she's still here as it's Tyra Murphy, an incredible game. Thank you. 34 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists. You were trying for that double-double, weren't you? Uh, I I'm honestly don't look at the board, don't look at all my stats. We were just going out there to prove a point, make a statement. That's about it when we did that. What's the plan when it comes with it with offense? Is it just do it by flow or... Just do it by flow. You have to hit the open person. It's not. It's a five-man game, and just hit the open person. And I, we all trust each other. After last year, a tough loss in the first round to Penn State Beaver, you managed to exact revenge. How's it feel that in your second year, you're going to be playing for a national championship in your home state? Oh, it's amazing. We uh, we knew this was possible at halftime. I told the girls we played a solid first half. But we were down by seven, and we knew that Central Maine knew that we hadn't unlocked our beast yet. It really felt like early on you guys were unstoppable from deep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, a lot of that's because we got stops kind of earlier in the game. You know, it's, we always talk about defense leads to offense. So once we have energy, the shots start falling. Me, David Froge, Sarvell came up big, number four. We all were hitting shots. And then sometimes the second half, we didn't really hit that many shots. We relied on defense. Yes. Uh, an incredible game, 94-85, the final. Yes. These games, all season, high yeah. scoring. Yeah. How fun is it to coach? It, it's extremely fun. I mean, I, I'm – people that don't know me, I'm more of a defensive coach. You know, so that, that part kind of, you know, frustrates a little bit. But the fact that we have the scores and, and go out there and, you know, set, get the separation like we did there. And that was a great game. We play them every year, twice a you know, year, home and home. And it's always a, a good game when we play them. And we were, we were very happy that, you know, the way we came out on the, on, on the uh, winning end. But the way we just gutted it out, you know, especially in the second half. Nathan Ose finished his career with 1,001 points. It was uh, – I think it was harder than a lot of people expected out there. Just how did it feel to have him get that milestone? Well, I mean, I don't think a lot of people realize that Nate's been playing with a severely sprained right thumb on his shooting hand for about the last two and a half, three weeks. Nathan Ose, 1,000 points. What does that mean to you? Man, I mean, it means a lot. I mean, I work. Basically, all my life for this, man, I didn't I didn't get a 1,000 in high school. I only played two years in high school for varsity, so I was never close to 1,000. And for me to get 1,000 through everything I've been through in my career, it just means a lot, man. It's, 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 it's undescribable, man. I'm here with the player of the game, Emerson Wells. Eight three-pointers, 26 points. How does it feel to be a champion with that type of effort? Uh, it feels so good. So great to get it with girls after coming and losing last year. It was really good to come back, finally get the win. <laughs> I mean, how did it feel whenever you saw the net? Did it look like a soccer net out there? <laughs> I, I just have to ask. No, I think it helps with the girls have as much confidence in me as I do, and they're always hyping me up, which makes it a lot easier to get the ball to go through the hoop. Emerson, congratulations on the victory and the championship. Thank you.